Alright, what's going on guys? Technologic here, and today I am going to teach you how to inject any Game Boy Advance game ROM into a Virtual Console CIA that can be installed onto any hacked 3DS. Note that I say hacked. It won't work on regular 3DSs, don't bother trying. However, if your 3DS isn't hacked and you want to do this, there is a guide on how to hack it. Go to 3ds.guide. It is Playlex Guide. It is a complete guide to 3ds custom firmware from stock to ARM 9 loader hacks. And to get started, you would click Get Started and follow its steps from there. So, injecting games. Go to 3ds.host slash easy injects. It'll bring you to this page. It is a search for Asdolo's virtual console injectors for the 3ds. I'm going to go with a GBA one. So, once you get that loaded up, scroll down to download links and choose version 1.5 it'll bring you into a mega link hit download through your browser and extract it to whatever directory you want alright so now I'm in my index folder I have it downloaded and extracted I have my ROM which is Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest I have an image of the main menu of the game and I have an image of the cover of the game so what you're going to do is open up the index folder, the injector folder. Open up the injector executable. Smart screen usually throw, well, it threw an error last time. Sometimes Windows smart screen will throw an error at you. Um, now what you do is go to the injector. Open your GBA file. I open mine up. It automatically often detects the ROM size, what type of save type it has, and the name and the publisher and the release date. Next step, icon and name. Uh, long name, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to get rid of the Euro USA part. Um, load icon image, this is where your game cover comes in. That's how it will show up on the 3DS's menu. Um, I suggest that you leave this as by cubic. And then you go on to your next step, the 3D banner. Uh, I'd suggest that you not go with that, just that's my opinion. I'd prefer to go with the menu right there. So I replace it with that. You can change the text of this virtual console banner, change the brightness of it. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 64 like it is by default. Next step is virtual console parameters. Um, that's what the product code is. Um, you can leave that. And you might want to randomize your title ID. Ghosting adjustment, you can change the ghosting if you want. Um, I'm, I haven't experimented with this yet personally. And I haven't experimented with the color config yet either. Sleep patch will add a sleep mode to any Game Boy Advance game. Because Game Boy Advance games on the 3DS don't have sleep mode. If you close the system, it won't go into sleep. So, I'm not going to mess with this sleep patch on this game. Because I haven't injected this game yet. So, I don't know if the sleep patch works because this warning. Some games won't run after applying the patch. Some will, some won't. So, now that you're done with these steps, hit finish. You can export your CIA. I will do Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest.CIA. And in a second here, the progress bar will start going. Your CIA is done. You can close out of this program. Drag your CIA to whatever folder you want on your 3DS's SD card. And then go ahead and remove your SD card from your PC and reinsert it into your 3DS. Alright, so, now that you've taken your SD card out of your PC and reinserted it into your 3DS, go ahead and power on your 3DS. And go ahead and launch your CIA installer of choice. I personally use FBI, so I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Go to your SD card, go to the directory where you have placed your CIA. I placed it in my CIA's folder. And now I'm going to go down to Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest.CIA. Go ahead and install it. install finish press ok go to your home menu put your CIA installer and if it installs it should say 
new software has been added to the home menu. Go ahead and unwrap the game. Launch it. Select my language. So far, it seems to work. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you inject Game Boy Advance games into virtual console CIs and install them and play them on your hacked 3DS. Alright guys, check them out.